In this video, we will cover how to add a new appointment schedule using user-defined parameters. To do this, click the Appointment tab and then click the Schedule Maintenance tab. Next, select the practice if there is more than one and then select the provider or schedule resource you want to create a schedule for and then click the Add Schedule button. In the New Schedule Setup dialog, click the Use These Parameters radio button and then you can select the schedule type then enter the start time and end time for the schedule you are creating. Next you can choose an interval or the number of minutes each time slot should consist of and then you can select the number of blocks which is the number of appointments that you can schedule for a time slot without overbooking. After the initial parameters have been selected click the OK button. The schedule with the selected parameters will now appear on the left side of the schedule maintenance screen. You now have the ability to add any visit types to time slots, reserve any time slots for lunch or other activities, or add and remove blocks for selected areas of the schedule as needed. To add a visit type to the schedule, highlight the time slots you want to contain the visit type and then click the visit type button. In the Select a Visit Type dialog, you can then select the specific visit type you want to add to the time slots, and then press OK. You can then repeat this process to add other visit types to the time slots as needed. To reserve time slots, highlight the time slots you want to reserve, and then click the Reserve button. In the Reserve a Block dialog, you can select the Lunch Radio button or the Other Radio button. If selecting Other, you can add a description in the field to the right. When finished, click the OK button. You can remove visit types and reserve time slots by highlighting the applicable slots and then clicking the Clear button. To add a block to a section of the schedule, highlight the applicable time slots and then click the Add Block button. You can repeat this process for any other time slots you want to add additional blocks to. You can remove the blocks in a similar manner by highlighting those time slots with multiple blocks and then clicking the Remove Block button. After you have made the modifications to the schedule and it appears as you want, you can add it to the calendar to the right. First, you will need to select the month and year you want to add the schedule to using the arrow buttons. The single arrow goes forward or backward by month while the double arrow goes forward and backward by year. For our example, we will select January of 2017. Once the month and year have been selected, you can select the day to apply the schedule to. If you are applying the schedule to more than one day, you are able to click and drag through any additional days that are adjacent to the days currently selected. Here, we will select all Mondays. Once the days are selected as desired, click the Add button. You can then repeat this process for other days you want to add the schedule to. We will add it to Wednesdays and Fridays as well. Likewise, you can manipulate the calendar to advance to other months to add the schedule there as well. When you have added the schedule to the applicable slots, be sure to click the Save button. If you are adding the schedule to a lot of days, across multiple months. It is recommended to save multiple times throughout this process to ensure you do not lose your work. Prior to leaving the schedule maintenance area, you have the ability to save the constructed schedule as a template to be used when building future schedules. To save the schedule as a template, click into the template name field and enter the template name. For our example, we will call it the Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. Once a name has been entered, click the Save as New button. When finished, click the Close button to exit the maintenance area.